Hey guys, it's Nina from Chroma Recreation. Today we are tie dyeing. So at home, I know you might not have tie dye. Me and Angie from Chroma Recreation came up with a few different ideas on how you could tie dye with some stuff at home. So some of the ideas include bleach, food coloring, floss, ice, rocks, and your typical tie-dye. So we're going to go through a few different ways of how we can get this done. Make sure you go and grab anything white or black, depending on what materials you plan on using. And we will go through each demonstration now. First things first, any of these ideas, make sure that you have a parent around and they are helping you work with the dye, the food coloring, the bleach. It's very important that the parents are involved. Okay, we're ready to get started. So for this tie-dye, we have a black shirt, some floss, gloves, which make sure that you're wearing these gloves whenever you're doing any of the tie-dye, scissors, regular Clorox bleach, and a drying rack that's on top of a disposable pan. We also have food coloring. If you have any food coloring at home, this is an option instead of your typical tie-dye. All right, we also have Angie from Carmel Rec here, and she is going to show you what to do. We're gonna make this nice and fun for you guys. So first things first, she's going to rip off a piece of floss. And she's going to roll that floss inside of the shirt. And there's so many different ways that you can do the tie-dye. This is one style. She's going to knot that floss. Could be a little difficult with gloves. She's got it. Okay. I'm going to put that over the drying rack. Make sure that you always put the bleach on while it's dry. I said that mom and dad are with you and that they are pouring the bleach. See, it's starting to change colors. at home or when your mom and dad are out at the grocery store maybe they can pick up some different neon colors also when you're doing the tie-dye we recommend you getting outside it's a beautiful day at the park we're here in the town of Carmel this is Sycamore Park get outside enjoy the day get some sun tie-dye. good. So, we're just going to cut that floss. Pull it out. Pretty cool. Oh, I love it. She's going to hang that one up. And make sure that when you guys are done with these creations, 
that you hang them up on a line outside so that they can get nice and dry before you bring them in. next tie-dye we are going to need to get a few simple things I want you guys to get up go outside and find some rocks we got our rocks and we recommend that you get smaller rocks because you're going to use these rocks to tie into the shirt with your rubber bands or floss cardboard any cardboard would be great and you're going to cut that piece of cardboard into two triangles two small triangles so Angie is going to fold the shirt into three folds okay and you are going to fold it up on there for a few minutes and now we are going to spray some tie-dye on there like we said you can use food coloring or your typical dye Everybody loved our tie-dye videos and you try it at home with your parents don't forget to make sure you wear gloves and you go outside to do all these awesome
tie-dyeing creations. We hope to see you next time.